Hello again there ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Don't Starve. Been a little while uh, since my last updates. Uh, I updated another uh, Bioshock kind of recently, but that was also one of my stockpiled videos, which I, I should have uploaded before I did, but I, I took a little longer than normal. I'm actually working on a project right now. Um, it's a comedy video. What is this? I didn't realize we were so close to the swamps. Check this out. We are... It's a little bit of swampland. Oh, you can see a tentacle there. No, I ain't dealing with that. But I'm working on a video. It's uh, it's supposed to be a comedy. It's, it's back to my old mythology stuff, which you guys may remember uh, from last time. I've, I've done a few of those videos on mythology, video games, different lores, you know, things of that nature. So, <clears throat> I've been working on a video series for those, uh, those types of things, and I've been working on a, a different type of delivery style uh, to make it a little new, a little fresh, and exciting. Oh, check it out. Oh, that pig is going to get attacked. Wow. I uh, might not have to deal with this. That's pretty great. So I can just leave that pig to uh, piss off every spider in the known universe. And then, you know, I can just leave. Oh, except for this spider. Come here. Yeah. Later, bitch. Oh, apparently these spiders are already out somewhere. Either fighting or they've been destroyed. I don't know which. Good chance for us to get some silk, though. That's good. Apparently a spider's been killed right here. And, ooh, a spider was killed up here, too. And, uh, there goes that. Hey, hey, no, 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 don't you attack me. Yeah, punk. How do you like that? How do you like them apples? And I believe the, uh, well, obviously the pig that lived in that house is dead, so I can just go ahead, I, I guess, and... Oh, well, no, never mind. He's alive. Oh, well. Not really that big a deal to me. Where's the, where's the pig that died? Is it this one? No, there's a pig there, too. Check that out. I don't think things are going to end very well for that frog. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, what was I saying? I don't know. Uh, I was, oh, I was talking about the, uh, I was talking about the video. The video is up and coming. It's, I I'm working on the art right now. I've already got the, uh, the storyline done. And of course, I've already finished the idea of, uh, like, what I'm going to do for other various stories in the future. So all I have to do now is get around to making an acceptable artwork, acceptable art form. I kill now. No, you don't. Go away. No one asks you for your help. I think I'm gonna leave this uh, this spider nest here though. Maybe destroy it at a later date. I could go ahead and jump into this and see where it takes me. Oh my goodness. This is an undesirable location. Okay, so further south from where I was before actually takes me to a swampland. That's good to know. That actually is pretty good to know because now I can come up here in the future and like pick reeds. If I need them for, you know, whatever reason. Oh, check this out. A beefalo hat? Some wool? And a spear? Uh, wow, this is actually pretty useful. I have to figure out what to get rid of, though. I'll just get rid of some of that grass. Yeah. Oh, and there's actually some hound's teeth. I didn't notice that at first. Let's go ahead and just use these. Since I am missing a teeny tiny bit of health. I was hoping for a second that, that was a walrus tusk, but of course not. Alright, let's head back home. 
Uh, we don't need to be in the night for that long. Oh my god, those pigs are going to follow me. I don't need you following me all the way home, sirs. Thank you. That is the last thing I need on my plate right now. If the pigs follow me home and they transform because of a full moon, I get to bear the brunt of that transformation, and it is not a fun thing to have to deal with. Pigs are dicks in the full moon. So, we got, oh, um, we got this hardened rubber bung and some frazzled wires. I thought you could eat frazzled wires, but apparently not. Which was kind of sad to discover. Uh, all right. No? I thought we had a place for wooden planks, but apparently we don't. Well, we do have a place for spider silk, so that's good. And also cut reeds and beefalo wool. So all the important things. We can eat some stale carrots. We got meaty stew. Oh, we got a place for pig skins, too. I didn't realize I already had pig skins. Uh, which means, actually, we can make our pig helmet. I don't really need to, though. Let's go ahead and burn this out, because we don't really need it. Go ahead and put some berries up in there. We'll put some more carrots in there. Then we can re-equip this. Uh, we do need, however... Uh, we need more chests. We do. We just need more chests. Chests are rather important, overall. We got this beefalo hat, though. That was a really good find. Uh, you know, beefalo hats. Go ahead and put that there. Beefalo hats are really useful because, I mean, they're not super difficult to make in the winter. But it's nice to have one ahead of time. So you gotta, you gotta kill enough beefaloes to get that horn, and then you have to have the wool. Now, we're actually pretty close to the amount of wool that we need, so all we need now is the beefalo horn. But we have to kill Beefalo, and that's a pain in the butt to have to deal with. Oh my god, we don't have a lot of sanity, do we? Well, why not? Alright, well, let's, uh, alright, let's make a rope real quick. We do need to do this. Let's make a rope. And survival, let's... Alright, let's make a straw rope. Oh god, it's daytime. Well, whatever. We'll gain some sanity back here during the day, and later on, we... Oh, tonight. Later on tonight, we'll go to sleep. In the meantime, we'll actually gain some sanity because it's daytime, so that's fine. Uh, is there anything else we can make? We can use this, and this, and this, and we can actually make uh, a dish, I do believe. So we'll go ahead and put one of those in there, and then one of those, and then two of those. We'll cook that. And then one of those monster meats. Oh my goodness, no. We already have a monster meat in there. Now, I think that'll make something good. Oh god! This hurts us. I think he can still get struck by lightning while holding an umbrella, though. Which is worth remembering. There we go. Now we're topped off. That was almost complete. Now tomorrow, oh yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna have to face dogs again. Good lord, this is just, it's a, it's one thing after the other that we have to constantly watch out for. What are we, what are we trying to do? I need to sit here and get my thoughts organized. I've already told you guys about the, uh, the comedy video. That should be coming out pretty soon after this one. I'm hoping, because all I have to do is worry about the artwork. Now the artwork's all gonna be done by me. So, you know, don't expect anything really super high grade. I'm using Adobe Illustrator. And uh, a couple of other, like a, a tablet. It's not a great tablet, though. It's just a little bamboo uh, tablet. Uh, so it's decent. It's okay. But it's like a $100 tablet. So it's not one of the really fancy high-grade ones. But I'm just using that to create some really simple figures uh, to actually get the story across. I've already got the script written. And uh, I've got ideas for several other ones, so I'm going to bring those out next. So I've already discussed that now. Uh, what's next up on the agenda? I believe next on the agenda is... Collecting food is always good. Uh, that's something that we're going to have to continuously do. We're going to need to collect a lot more, a lot of cut grass and a lot of twigs. 
uh, because those are rather important when it comes to uh, creating traps, and traps are a really, really big deal uh, for catching rabbits. It's like, as far as I can tell, that's the primary way to survive. If I remember correctly, that's your your best method of survival is uh, is rabbits during the winter. And winter will be upon us before we know it. So in the meantime, we just need to collect as many foodstuffs as we possibly can. Ow! Oh, that was lightning. Let's go ahead and take this off. Oh, apparently I can't attack that. Frogs don't come out during the winter either because the uh, the little ponds that they're in get covered up. So that's that's a bummer. We don't have any farms, so we can't make any farm stuff. Good thing is that our food, uh, spoiling of food, does not matter to us. So we can use whatever food we want. Oh, that's pretty grand. We got poop all over the place here. I haven't seen a lot of beefalo around. I think I've only seen a couple. Oh my god, where'd that pig come from? <laughs> Seriously, where'd that pig come from? Oh, whatever. He's just chilling. Like pigs do. <clears throat> I think that the next thing we had to really work on is we have to create a top hat and use that to create a press the hat nader. Now, what do we need for the press the hat nader? Uh, I believe we need. Oh, I think we also need live rabbits for that, don't we? Let's head over here and check it. Yeah, we need. Oh, we need four live rabbits. Good lord. Four? That is, that is more than one. Alright, so we should probably make a couple of traps. Traps are good to have anyway, though. I believe I mentioned before. Traps are useful for a variety of different things. They're good for getting rid of spiders. They're good for getting rid of rabbits. They're good for getting rid of frogs. So, I am a fan of... I have to create a few traps. So that's the next thing we're going to have to do. We're going to have to create traps. To capture some rabbits. Where's another rabbit hole? Yes, good. Ah, there's another one. Where's all this manure coming from? Seriously. So that's the next order of business. We're going to make a press the hat nader. Let's set it up somewhere around here so we can start our journey into magic. Now we're a little low on the old... Oh my goodness. We're actually a little low on the old hunger too. Let's go ahead and eat that and then we'll go to sleep for the night. Fuel reserves are low. It always reduces our hunger to like... Complete garbage. Go ahead and pop those in there. And those. I don't even know why I have these seeds. And I'm not going to keep the manure in the same chest as my food. I know it's not real. I know it doesn't actually matter. But I mean, seriously. There's just something about that. I'm not going to keep poop in the same chest as my food stuff. Call me human. All right, what's next? Uh, we're going to have to check some traps after a while. And hope that we catch our rabbits. Oh, look, we got a rabbit. Oh. No, of course we didn't. We got a damn frog. Why are the rabbits not coming out? Effing rabbits. Uh, let's go ahead and just break this. Oh my god! No! Why? You see what I mean? Oh. 
No, 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 no. <laughs> Why? What? They're still chasing me. But I don't understand this. Oh, I think- Oh, they see food and stuff on the ground. Why did they change back? It's been a day for a while. I hear something. Oh, the dog! Oh, look at this! A rabbit. Good. There's something screwed up with the day-night cycle. That's all I can tell. And now it's saving as if it just became daytime. I hate these frogs. I hate frogs. They're such douchebags. Ow. Time for food. Alright, we're gonna stay next to these pigs. If we stay near the pigs, then, uh, oh my god. Then when the, uh, when the dogs attack, the pigs will help us. And we'll be okay. Of course, the dogs are just gonna growl and bark for, like, an hour. Then they're gonna come out and try to attack us. Because that's how they do, apparently. Come on, now. Attack me! There we go! He got punched! Oh, that dog's still coming after me, though. Lord. No! Leave it to the pig! Where's the other pig? Pig number two, where are you, man? Did that pig die? It's a definite possibility. Oh, I think the dog died. Oh, that's good news. Oh, you dick! Man. Oh well, we win overall. How many rabbits is that? We have four rabbits yet? No. <laughs> well, we got a monster meat. Can we put petals in? That's a negative. All right, what we got in here? We got oh, we got carrots. That's good. We'll go ahead and pop a carrot in there. God knows what that'll make. Two carrots in here. Bam. Check this trap. See if we caught a rabbit. We did not catch a rabbit over there. Look at that. What a bummer. So right now we only have three rabbits. Oh, that sucks. Oh, check it. We got meatballs. I guess because you use if you use the meat. Then you just get meatballs. That's how it works. That was almost complete. Check him out. We are pro cooking here, guys. This video, this video is not super interesting. But that's just on. We're just we're just searching for the press the hat nader, and it's not you know it's not a super interesting thing. Press the Hatinator is actually pretty boring. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, it's not that fun. It's nothing special. Alright, let's let's get over here again. What do we need? What do we need? Press the Hatinator. Oh, we need four boards. We uh we need four boards, which means we need logs. What how many logs do we have? Nine? Oh my god, is that all we have? We're gonna have to cut down some trees tomorrow or something. Uh that's another super exciting thing that we're gonna have to do. You! Be done already! This thing's taking forever. Oh wait! We have a hat! I didn't realize we had a hat. 
I already forgot about making that. Man, we still have a whole bunch of extra silk, too. Look at look how much silk we have. So we have the hat. We need the boards. Which, uh, we have no boards now. Because I used the boards that I had. I used the three boards that I had to make a uh, to make that. I could head up and see if there's more pig houses. Have we found, like, a pig village or anything? Oh, we, we actually have. We could just go up there and just knock down some pig houses. Oh, how many do we need to knock down? Two? Yeah. That'll be a lot faster, actually. We can knock down two pig houses up there. And we'll be good to go. And I still need to remember, when winter is coming up, since that's the touchstone that's closest to camp, and that's the first touchstone that I activated, I need to head over there and I need to drop off a heat stone and enough stuff for a fire. That should be good, and probably a spear as well. Uh, but that should be that should be good. As long as we drop off enough stuff for a heat stone... And, uh, stuff for a fire. We should be okay. Oh, look, it is. It's a full moon. Huh. Maybe that's why those pigs did what they did. Oh, this is driving me nuts. <clears throat> My stats are so poor. It's such a bother. The next, I guess the next thing that we need to do, the press the hat nader is one thing, but besides that, a thing that's really important that we need to do is, uh, actually, what does the press the hat nader really give us? It doesn't really give us access to anything special, like anything that I'm going to care about. Excuse me. Yeah, it actually doesn't. Press the hat here doesn't give us the ac access to anything special. I still, I do still need one more rabbit, at least. Other than that, though, we're good. Check this, check this pig out up here. She's just chilling. He turned evil last night, though. It's a good thing he didn't come down here. God, that would have sucked. What's going on? How many pig houses did I destroy here already? Oh. Apparently all of them here. Well, that's that entire area. How about this entire area? Oh my god, the whole pig village is crazy. Whatever. Just go ahead and use this. Alright, we got that. Let's knock this one down next. Okay, we're good on boards. We've got enough boards. Oh, snap. Look, we don't have enough room for this. Uh, what do we get rid of? Seeds? Yeah. Berries are rather important. Seeds, not so much. Because I don't have the stuff that I need to make seeds important. Still got a few pig houses up here. This is good, actually, because these uh, these houses mean that what we can do is uh, on days that it seems like the hounds are attacking because they give us a bit of time before they actually show up, we could just run up here to this pig, this entire pig village, and then just seek protection. But we need very desperately, I might add, to find out where the uh, the dudes are. The, the mechanical dudes, because if we can kill them, we can get gears, and gears are... Gears are important to us. The more gears we can find, the better. Because the more gears we can find, the more powerful we become. You can actually find gears in several different areas. You can, you can dig up gears. Uh, which is pretty good. But they're kind of rare. Uh, so I don't think we should actually depend on that. Finding gears that way is, it, it's probably not gonna, it's probably not gonna do much for us. Mostly because I doubt it'll happen. <laughs> I doubt we'll actually be lucky enough to dig up some gears. What is this? The never-ending empty plains? 
It's just, it's deserted. There is nothing here. This would be an interesting place for a base, though. I don't think I've ever seen... I don't think I've ever seen an area like this before. Like, just super open with absolutely nothing. You know, that's not man-made, at least. I've walked up and cleared a, an area that big. Oh, check it. Another touchstone. I'm gonna have to keep this one in mind, too. Can we make... Did we make a pitchfork? We did not make a pitchfork. Unfortunate. Because digging up these four wooden planks would be kind of nice. If we could bring them back and set them on our base. Oh, we found a carrot. Oh. We actually already have room for a carrot. Okay, that's fine. Where are we? We're like a mile away from home. Oh my god. Oh lord. We are rather far from home, aren't we? Huh. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing. That's another way you can survive winter that I've discovered. So like in summer, when um, when stuff grows, uh, when winter shows up, that doesn't kill the stuff that's already grown. It's like berries and carrots that are already in the world. They're still there when winter starts up. So you can literally just walk around the world and find places where there are berries and carrots and then just pick them. You can live a nomad lifestyle in the winter. And it works. It's legit. Oh, come on, pick up that stick. Yeah, don't let it skip you by. Come on. Don't be lazy. Ooh, night approaching. It's actually not that good. We might want to start heading back. <laughs> if we're lucky, we'll make it there in time. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, check it. We found the gnome in the box thing. Hey, let's make a trap and leave it here. Yeah, right here. And uh, let's let's drop our spear here and pick up this one. Cause that one's 100 percent. Might as well. Now let's see. All right. Yeah, we did it. We found the box thing. Wait, well, we weren't really looking for the box thing. <laughs> But we found it, and, you know, that's all that matters. It would be it would be pretty awesome if there was an item that you could find. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Ignore that statement. I was about to make a dumb one. I was going to say it'd be pretty awesome if there was an item that you could find that you could put in your inventory that allowed you to carry more stuff. And then I thought about it for about 10 seconds. I was like, wait. If you find the eye bone and get Chester, that's, uh, that's exactly what he does. It is literally his purpose in life to follow you around and hold on to your shit. Oh my god. If we don't make it back in time, we're going to be in trouble. A, because I think tonight is also a full moon and those pigs are going to freak out and attack us. B, shit's dark. Oh god. We're cutting it close. Oh, I think we're going to make it, though. Ooh, I hear... Yeah, I hear some cages rattling around. Give me that. Boom. Oh, right in time, too. It's like a freaking photo finish. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's over there. There we go. Okay, okay. Oh, wait, look. It's not actually, uh... It's not actually that late. That's good. Where's the hat? Silk hat. There we go. Alright, we got the stuff to make the press the hat nader, and we're going to. Blam. Let's pop this over here. Access to magic. With this extra power, I have more power. Okay. Let's 
But actually all this gray stuff is locked so we can't even make it. We can make an ice staff, but not really. Oh, bummer. This is all the stuff that it unlocks access to, but I literally can't make any of it and it's worthless. One man band is useless. Nightlight is useless. Uh, meat effigy. The meat effigy is kind of useful, except we have no health. So messing around with that will probably just get murdered. When we ordinarily wouldn't. The chilled amulet still has no purpose as far as I know. Life-giving amulet? We need nightmare fuel. We have none. I do actually need to catch more rabbits, though. Let's go back to survival and make another backpack. Because they're not, they're not that expensive. We'll pick this one up. Leave that one off. We're going to put all of our rabbits, we're going to store all of our rabbits in that backpack. Should be a rabbit in that one soon. Effing pigs, man. I'm going to have to kill this pig. Or else it's just going to hang out at my house and that's not useful. Okay, so for now we have what? We got two rabbits in the bag. Okay, that's fine. Oh, you can actually close it. Crazy. I didn't realize that. Alright, there we go. <clears throat> Oh, we don't need the manure right now, now do we? Let's pop the manure in there, let's pop the reeds in there. Oh, the cut grass is good. Extra sticks are good. Pop those in there. And again, I don't know why I have these damn seeds. I have them, but for what purpose do I have them? Alright, well that's it for now, so we're gonna conclude this episode. I think this episode might have been kind of boring. Uh, it felt boring to play. I'm assuming that's not going to be good for you guys to watch. I'm so sorry. Next episode, next episode we'll try to make more exciting. We'll actually do something that's not crap. For one. So, uh, I'll see you guys next time.